Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial. In the last tutorial, we had a look how to set up the textures in Aces Color Space. And now we have a look how to render here in Aces and export it and import it in After Effects, Nuke and Photoshop. Okay, so I have here a pretty simple scene with a grenade, which I textured a bit earlier, and a pretty simple redshift lighting setup here. You can do the same in Arnold or V-Ray, wherever you want and wherever the render engine supports ACES, because it's everywhere the same. You are rendering in ACES CG. So, okay. Here I have the final rendered image. It's rendered, as I said, in ACES CG, and I'm displaying it here with a uh, view transform for my display for sRGB. So we go and save this image. I have it here already saved, but we can override it. Let's say version not 12. Let's go for version two. Save it and yeah, done. Let's go to Nuke. Here in Nuke, we can first delete this you can press the S button for the project settings, go under the color tab, and here new comes already with a with an ASUS configuration. So you can switch here from Nuke to OCIO, ASUS 1.03, or you can load in your custom one, 1 1.2, when I'm, yeah, 1.2. But for this purpose here, it is absolutely fine. And yeah, you can also set it into preferences if you want it. So here, prefs, where is it? Color management, and it's permanently on ACES when you open Nuke. Okay, so we can drag and drop our render here into our node graph. Press one on the keyboard for the view. And here we have it. You can see here it's displaying is a sRGB. Aces view transform and you have it. You can go for W for a right node. Here you can say where it has to save it. Let's go for save it wherever you want. Let's go for the desktop. Let's call it grenade aces dot I don't know. Let's go for PNG save it and here you want for output output srgb this bakes the the color transform direct in so if you hit render it will it will be in aces after that so we can have a look and here you have it okay now let's go for after effects here we can delete this delete it and import again make sure you are in 32 bits otherwise it won't work correctly so we can drag and drop it here in our timeline and you can see it doesn't look right here so we have to do a few little things you can download from the internet the open color io plugin for after effects you can find it on google just type in open color io uh, after effects plugin or something like that after that, you can drag and drop it into your effect stack. Here under configuration, we want a custom one. Here, navigate to your folder where you have store your ACES config file. Let's choose it. And here we have input space. We render it in ACES CG. So we need to set it up here to raise CG. And output space, we want to output it as a sRGB. And it's almost there, <laughs> almost there, trust me. Here, on our footage, right click, interpret footage, main, and under color management, you need to check on perceive RGB. And look at this, we have it. If you want to save it, it's same as in Nuke, just save it out and you have it. Okay, next one, Photoshop. We delete this one. Or uh, we can close the tab. No. And import new one. Okay. Alright. 
so we don't need the alpha here. Here you have two options. First, you need to download here as well the OpenColor.io plugin for Photoshop. After you have it, OpenColor.io, open it under the filter menu. Okay, so option one, you can transform it completely here in Photoshop with the plugin and back it down. Just set up your custom uh, profile here as well, like in After Effects, to Documents, OCIO here, and 1.2 config. All right. Here again, it's, it's everywhere the same. So we are rendering in ACCG. Input space is ACCG. We want to output this sRGB. OK. Now you can press OK button. And we have one thing to do here under the, what is it? Exposure correction, or something like that. Mine is in German. I need to switch it to English. Uh, here under the gamma correct, you can type in 0.454. And you have it. But option two is a bit better where you work with a dot file. So we open first the color IO again. With the same settings, we can export this view as a lot file. So let's go into our folder assets. Here we need the Cinespace, Cinespace file format. You can see I have it here already. Let's override it. Yes, override it and close it. And now you can open the color lookup table effect here. Here you can load, switch here to Cinespace as well and open it. And as you can see, we are almost there again. Here point in dot four, five, four, and you have it. And why is this version better? Because here you don't bake didn't call it transform direct into the image. So you can you can do some some cool stuff here underneath and it's 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 still it's still intact so you don't bake it in. You can change stuff and move things around and stuff like that. And here here as well if you want to save it out it's a bit the downside of Photoshop because it doesn't support ACES natively yet you need to you can group it and with Ctrl E you can merge it together and you need to switch for uh, mode here to 8-bit if you want to save it as a PNG as an example. Don't merge, file, export, here PNG or JPEG or XR, whatever. If you want to export it as an XR, you don't need to convert it to 8-bit. And yeah, save it. Yes, okay. And here you have it as well. So yeah, that's all the magic behind. As you can see, it's not that complex. You just need to know where you have to set up which setting and you have it. So yeah, happy rendering, enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.